What's up friends? Today it's gonna be a very special day for all the people who wanted me to include trade unions in the builds. Because with this epic item, Chef Michel, we can replace the goulash input on canned food with pigs. That means we don't have to build any red pepper or beef production, which is very convenient as it saves a lot of money, workforce and space. Also, this will produce quite a lot of sausages, so you can save a little bit of money and space in that area too. And as you can see by the numbers, this produces a shit ton of canned food we're probably not even gonna be able to use, but don't worry, you can just trade the rest in the harbor for extra goods. As for the pig production, I came up with this very simple, small, compact layout, um, and you're just gonna need two of these, like just just what you see here, and it's going to be enough to provide for the whole canned food production. Now obviously we are going to need a lot of iron for this build, which is why I came up with this small production line, which is just an iron mine, a trade union next to it, and the trade union has a miner equipped, which gives it plus 50% productivity, obviously. You can add more productivity items, but this item is very easily accessible at Eli Bleakworth's Harbor too. And you also may notice the police station next to it. That is because we are going to extend the hours of our workers by 50%, which leaves us at 200% productivity. And that we need three mines of to supply our whole production. So we start off by building a trade union in the center, obviously. And then you're going to put your canneries like this, two on the sides, exactly centered and two with a two wide gap in between for the road and place another two on the end of that. Now place a second row, three like that on each side. And now you have all the space of your trade union used. Now you're just gonna connect it all with the roads like this. Also build a road uh, on the circumference and place warehouses in these corners. The next step will be to place the power plant right there. This is optional but it increases the production by 100% so I would suggest using one. Then you have to replace these roads with stone roads because otherwise the electricity won't reach the canneries on the end. Because stone roads, in case you didn't know, increase the range of electricity. And at last, you just have to put the item, Michel, the chef, inside of your trade union. You can easily get one of those on Eli Bleakworth's prison island. So, now for the pig production, start off by placing a warehouse, and then connect a road to it and place a five long road on one side of the warehouse. Now place your pig farms, like this, two, and then two on the other side rotated like this. Then place a road in between, yes, like that, and now place your silos like this. Now the pig dies, this will fit beautifully like that. Those, you have to place the pig styles like that, very simple. Now the fields, just like, no, not like that. Just like that, will also fit very beautifully. And then you just have to surround it with a road, copy it one time, and then you have all the pigs you need for that production. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. So leave a like and subscribe, it would really mean a lot to me, and I hope I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.